okay now uh, let's look at the uh, circuit uh, which we have seen before so this is the integrated injection logic circuit basic cell it is uh, this is the basic one from here this one you will derive other gates okay so we have we came, we saw dctl uh, dctl's problem was current hogging then from current hogging we saw how this circuit was made now i am just giving you the analysis of this circuit how it is working so from here you are giving the input here you are taking the output three outputs it is there means you can understand that three transistors will be in parallel with base and emitter same right so how this is going to work this is an inverter you will call it as i square l inverter i square means integrated injection and l means logic inverter it is an inverter how it is working as an inverter you can see this circuit as like this too okay so here you can see this is the uh, inside of this okay so this is a pnp that you can see resistor is r vcc is there input you are applying x is this node this node i am calling it as x and then you have this transistor connected to vcc rc output is uh, here y and this is the transistor okay so this is how it will be connected other transistors which are uh, since you have three in output here three transistor you can imagine in this fashion connected in parallel okay now how this is going to work when input will be equal to zero uh, your uh, this this path you can see vcc r this veb which is 0.7 or something uh, coming to ground this will provide a kvl loop and you will be able to calculate the current through r that will that is same as emitter current emitter current and if you have sufficiently large beta you will be having collect uh, collector current approximately equal to emitter current okay by base current will go here emitter current uh, collector current will come here so if you will have high beta you will have exactly similar or approximately similar ic equal to ie so this current will either go to the transistor side or it will go to the input side depending upon the value of input if the input is low this current will go to the input side this current will not get any current means this will be in cutoff hence it will be off and vcc will be equal to y okay so you can say that output will be high similarly if you will apply output high uh, sorry input high here from the node x current will go into the transistor direction same operation will be there this guy is feeding the current current injecting the current okay it will go to this transistor this transistor will be in saturation and it will provide a short path between collector and emitter means output will be low right so for input low output is high for input high output is low so that is how it is working as inverter circuit okay now to design other gates you need universal gates right so how you wanna get universal gates from this that i'll be showing you next next and from when you will get the universal gates you will be able to design any other gates as well okay so let me uh, show you how you can make nor gate and nand gate that has universal circuit so here you can see now uh, i have made two basic gates and those are nand gate and nor gate nand gate and nor gate if you have in your hand you can make any circuit out of these guys because they are universal gates okay so once you are able to make a universal gate you can make any other logic function right using those uh, universal gates so here you can see i have made a nand gate this is the truth table for that and here i have made a nor gate this is the truth table for that now here you can see how the circuit will operate you can see here this is transistor q1 q2 now instead of having only one input i have two input here vcc r is same vcc rc is same q1 q2 only difference i have made is two inputs i have taken here now how this circuit will behave if the inputs will be 0 0 the current which will flow through this branch will go to a and b right so no current will be drawn by q2 and hence this will be cut off and output will be vcc so one when the input is 0 1 the current will go to a only not to b because b is 1 and q2 again will not get any current because all the current is being consumed by low resistance bar or ground which is available at A. 
so when q2 will not get current q2 will be off again y will be vcc so one similarly if you provide one zero one zero then this time b will consume all the current a will not consume any current so again q2 will not get any current and hence y will be vcc because this will be cut off so y will be vcc only why vcc because uh, it will be open right this path will be open so rc will not have any current through it and hence there won't be any drop so all the vcc will come to be y right so this will, it is it will be a scenario like uh, rc vcc this is y this is like a switch right so this is how it will behave when q2 will be off so hence y will be vcc only because there won't be current in this path uh, because it's open so rc will not have any drop hopefully you are understanding this now last guy if both will be one one if both will be one one both will not consume any current so all the current will come from this path and go to q2 and when the current will go to q2 it will behave in saturation mode it will go into saturation mode and the collector to emitter voltage will be almost negligible zero volt so y will be connected to ground only that's why zero output right so this is how nand gate will work uh, how you can make a nand gate from integrated injection logic now same thing you can see here i have made a nor gate this arrangement is for single input each input we have this arrangement for a we have this arrangement for b we have this arrangement you can see here when the this is vcc r and uh, you will have current in this branch this will go to a when a will be zero and this will go to this uh, transistor uh, let me write q1 q2 q3 q4 so this current will go to q2 when a will be one and depending upon that uh, the y will be either zero or one here i have connected it in a ended wire ended mode okay so it whatever the output here and here will come they both will get ended and the combined output will give given by y right so let's see how the circuit works similarly here also i have made the same scenario but it, this is for b q3 and q4 rest everything i have kept same now if the input is 0 0 0 0 all the current will be consumed by a and b so q2 and q4 will not get any current hence this guy this branch let me call it as y1 this is y2 and y is equal to y1 dot y2 and so when 0 0 input will be there so q2 will be off q4 will be off y1 will be vcc y2 will be vcc and ending both of them you will get vcc only so output is one similarly if 0 1 will be the input 0 1 then this guy will not consume any current all the current will be given to q4 but here all the current will be consumed by a q2 will not have any current so this will be off this will be saturation if this is off y1 will be vcc and this is on saturation then y2 will be ground so vcc ended with ground zero that will give you zero only right so that's output similarly when you have one zero now the role will be reversed one zero means uh, this guy will be one so all the current will be consumed by q2 and here p is zero that's why q4 will not have any current so this will be off and this will be on so this time y1 will be zero and y2 will be vcc ending both of them you will get zero only third guy and last one when you have both one in that case all the current will be going to q2 and q4 both of them will be on hence y1 and y2 will be both zero and ending both zeros you will get zero only right last guy so that's how this this circuit is behaving as nor gate this circuit is behaving at nand gate and once you have nand and nor gate you can design any other logic so that's how uh, basic uh, universal gate are made from integrated in injection logic now i'm gonna finish uh, this topic with uh, applications advantages and disadvantages of integrated injection logic
okay now i'm gonna end up uh, integrated injection logic by telling you this characteristic advantages and disadvantages so first the characteristics here the basic gate could be nor gate as well as nand gate but mostly i have seen nor gate only propagation delay is around 4 nanoseconds power dissipation is around 1 milliwatt and they you can see it is very fast and it is consuming very low power the product of these is figure of merit power uh, speed power product that is 4 picojoule around so it is good uh, but it's it's not as good as other uh, logic families we will see that fan out is around 8 noise margin is very low and uh, logic 0 is usually represented with a 0 0.2 volt and 1 is logic 1 is represented with 0 0.7 volt usually you will see uh, but, and uh, it has poor noise margin you can see that i'm just around values i am showing you 0 0.3 0 0.4 it could be then uh, advantage is it has high packing density it means in within a very small area in the inside the chip you can feed a lot of transistors and uh, since i square l is made of transistors only that's why it is having high packing density it can um, uh, it, it needs low power supply that is one advantage so vcc required will be very less low power dissipation you can see that it is high speed you can see here disadvantages are it is having low noise margin which is not good it has lower packing density than n, uh, n mos usually uh, okay so you can i have generalized it with with mos um, but specifically it is n mos it has lower packing density than that but uh, with respect to its um, uh, uh, other uh, logic families in within the saturated region it is having higher packing density external resistance is required uh, you have seen that with vcc you have to connect an r so that a current will flow through the NP, uh, pnp transistor uh, that's why uh, you need uh, external resistance so that it's a drawback externally you have to connect something that's uh, kind of a disadvantage so these all things are about um, i square l and now we'll be moving to ttl that is um, most uh, uh, what you can you can say is popular type of logic family and what are its uh, pros and cons we will see ttl means transistor transistor logic that's the only remaining logic family in uh, in uh, saturated type uh, so that we will be finishing and then we'll move to non-saturated ones